Hi everyone, welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler, and we're gonna look at a play from the Bears game. And this morning I wrote a story about uh, Dom Capers and how he's playing with a lot of young, inexperienced guys. And yeah. we're gonna kind of show in this, which you were kind of baffled by yeah. Yeah. How, how something like this happened. And yeah. it is an inexperienced guy we're talking about. And while this is Mike Neal, while he's a you know third year player, he's still he, a this project, is his so. first year playing yes. this position. Yeah. And so um, basically you have a, you know, the Bears are spread out, somewhat of a bunch formation yep. there. And uh, the Packers are in a basic, really uh, nickel formation. So the Packers, it looks like have a blitz on here because Sam Shields comes through here, Malumba, and then through there. And Morgan Burnett was here. Oh, yeah. We forgot all Morgan Burnett over yeah. here. So go ahead. Why don't you tell us exactly and what happened here. Here's the frustration here. part Start of it. Start with him. <laughs> yeah, the frustration part of it, it's actually a pretty good call mm -hmm. because they played the bunch actually pretty good based on percentages. There was only They only gave up four plays of 20 yards or more, which right. is pretty good. They, aver they were averaging like seven at one point. But basically, the, the integrity of the defense is something Jay Cutler is looking at when he's going through his progression. And all of a sudden, when he makes his, um, his progression call, Tom, you, you see a couple things that throws you off as a quarterback. All of a sudden, before the ball is snapped, Mike Neal just kind of goes right here. Yeah, he's almost even with Lattimore. Yeah, so he's it's almost stacked. like he's another... You know, like a four-three linebacker. Almost, right, but you know? again, so when you freeze frame it, nobody is over here uncontained. Nobody. It, that's just how right. it was. Right. Nobody Hides was here. Hides here. Everybody was perfect. Tron's there. The action was here, and this guy went through the middle, mm -hmm. and these guys were fine. You know, everybody was fine, and this guy just came off. And now the problem was they did that, what we call the ride and decide, but Jay Cutler's not really interested in running it. Right, right. And so when you say ride and decide, do you mean hand and Hand to put off, it in there and he and decides what the end does, but the end is not there. Right, right. What Cutler should have done, faked it to 22 and come on outside and made him but, but let's talk about what Forte did Well, Forte first. did. So there was a hole in here. He came he in here, but Lattimore played Lattimore it great. Lattimore played it perfect. You had a double team here on Pickett. Pickett yeah, almost actually. throws his hands up like, where is somebody? Well, after, yeah, go ahead. And then next thing you know, all of the gaps are covered. Everything is covered. Forte cuts back outside, and Tremont goes and make, a eight yard, make this play for eight yards. I am shocked it didn't score. And, and the whole thing was this. You, you mentioned he raised his hand, so yep. he's got his double team. He, he got did his double exactly team. what he wants. Right. He's forcing Forte. Everybody has forced Forte right into Mike Neal. Yes. And he's gone. He's yeah. not there. He's just not and there. Pickett he's down. Like, Matter of fact, you can see his name on the tape. Not picking on him, but if they see your name on the back of your jersey, it's really not good. Yeah. He has to distinguish if it's pass or run. Don't go running to defend this because it may be a run. And stay there. You can always go get this guy. Right. But stay there. Now when Forte cuts back, you may get him in a two-yard you know, two loss or a two-yard gain. Yeah. But, again, if this is Colin Kaepernick. Right, right. He'll come in here. He's going to keep it, and we've seen what he He's does. He's gone. He's gone. So the Packers got to clean this kind of stuff up. Yeah. Because alignment, assignment, and execution, those are the three things you have to do with an offense that runs a lot of trick stuff. Not really trick stuff, but formations that you may not understand. They'll come out with a lot of new formations. And and this is where, you know, Dom Capers has to be just scratching his yes, head. Yes, because he's know. in the press box saying, okay, where's my contain? Yeah. What's Mike Neal, coach? Well, where is he? He's stacked. Yeah. Well, why is he stacked? Well, I don't know. Yeah. Well, if people want you to say they want your guy fired, they should see this kind of stuff. Right. This is not fireable stuff. You got to make sure your players understand what's going on. And the same thing happened to um, um, uh, your first rounder. Nick Perry. Nick Perry. Thank yeah. you. The same thing happened to him. Same defense. He ran in the middle and left Forte wide open in the flat. Mm -hmm. So, again, alignment, assignment, execution. That's the reason why the defense is giving up so many big plays. Yeah. And so we'll see this, too, with a bunch formation against the 49ers yes. in our next one and how this guy can actually have an impact actually on that. Actually can't have an impact. And it was Matthew. Okay, so we're going to look at a 49er play versus the Packers in week one. 
And they were successful with their bunch formations. Yes. Um, and you're going to see one here. The, the 49ers start out with Vernon Davis to the left receiver here and Anquan Bolden, who we haven't read. He had a, just a tremendous game. So he comes in motion and he sets up right here. Right. right. So at that point, you know, these guys have to make a decision how they're playing it, right? Yes. And I, I believe they made a, made a call there, and everything turned out right for a little while. Yes. So why don't you show what the routes were? Well, the routes were, uh, was something what we would call a pasta check, but it's a bunch formation, but on defense we make a check called pasta. And that basically would mean that these two guys would get the first, he would get, which was McMillan, mm -hmm. he would get the first guy deep inside. Tremont would get the first guy deep outside. Michael High would be curled to flat. Now, um, 24 would get the first guy underneath, which was this guy. He took him. That's fine. Vernon Davis came off ran what we call a seven route, a, you know, like a corner route. Now, the problem was Anquan Bolden came in what we call and ran a six route. Now, Brad Jones did a great job of marrying Gore just because he don't know if it's a screen or not. Did mm -hmm. a fantastic job. Shields got his guy tucked. Now, this guy got to look for work. There is no work. So he needs to stay in a smooth back pedal so he can help on this deep in route, which McMillan was too deep, and he was wide open right there. And that's where uh, Colin Kaepernick threw the ball. Now, another thing, the quarterback, uh, Colin uh, Kaepernick, he really wanted to throw this, but Tremont was in great, had great leverage. Right. But they got another play, what we call a Dino, and he'll break that off to a post, and this guy, Equan, will keep it up, and it'll be like a double post. Mm -hmm. That's hard. That's why you need your backside safety to stay in a smooth back pedal so he can help. But the problem with this that can help this play, mm -hmm. you marry these guys right here. You take, well, Matthews is not playing. But you tell whoever this outside linebacker, before you go to the quarterback, knock him right in the ear hole. Knock this off. Because if this guy is gone, the timing is off. Now, Micah Hyde wants this guy's stomach. If he has to come in the flat, you go marry him. Yeah. Now you got two guys on this guy. He has to scramble. Right. But you almost can't because you got almost a max defense up here. You can survive the down. Hit any guy that's on the line, he gets hit. Say that's Anquan Bolton. Right. You tell your outside line, like, before you go, I want you to go chip him every single time. Now they're looking for it. Yeah. Now you have control of the game. They have to find their Wayne Simmons to go out. Absolutely. Same thing he did against the that's 49ers. That's right. And that and could be Malumba or it could be Mike Neal. Or Nick Perry. Or Nick Perry because they don't get great pressure anyway. Let's yeah. be honest. Yeah, right. Okay, that's fine. We'll get a three-man rush. We'll get a delayed blitz but we're going to knock this guy every time we're in a bunch we're going to make a call the guy on the line of scrimmage he will get hit now that'll that'll make san francisco say okay they're hitting our guy that's on the line they'll get out of the bunch okay. and they'll just spread you wide okay fine they right. spread you wide you just go to the quarterback and we can run our defense right so you yeah. dictate to them absolutely what do. that's yeah. right okay you just take it to them you cut it loose if you don't cut it loose you're not going to play next week all right you can't think anymore. No more breakdowns, alignment, assignment, execution, and just get it done. Okay, and we'll see whether uh, that happens on Sunday. Well, it better. We'll Cause I know the Packers are watching this video. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> they better hey, be watching. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you after the game.